Hello and welcome back to the channel. My name is Josh and you're probably wondering what the heck is that? All that and more in this video. Today we're going to do another inky. We're going to splatter some ink down and use that pump. It's a uh, pool inflatable pump. There it is. And you can use anything. You can use, you can blow into a straw. You can use uh, canned air that's used to clean off keyboards. And you can use, just as I'm using the pump hose there, spraying the ink around, getting some chaos and fun design elements so we can come up with some sort of figure or face or creature or something fun later on. Again, I cut out the drying process because it's not that exciting. And now I'm turning the paper around, pointing out different things that I like, making sure it's dry. Uh, one question that I had recently was what type of paper I'm using. And it is just regular cardstock paper. Uh, that and other things that I'm using, I've gotten the details below the description. Ah uh, yes, googly eyes. I like to use those because it easy way to put in an eye. You of course can draw it in if you want, but I like to use them because it's just it's just fun. You can have some horrifying, terrible creature, but he's got a googly eye. And now I'm using one of my favorite pens, zebra pen, and I'm not going to do as much with this pen as I did in the last inky. Um, the reason being is that I want to use more of the uh, white jelly roll pen. I didn't use too much of that last time and I wanted to show you how far I can push that idea of using the white of the jelly roll. I know that I want to darken up that middle space there so I'm going to use a nice gray pen. This is one of my grays from that set of mem office colored markers that i have dual tips uh you of course don't have to buy an entire gigantic set like that you can find any type of gray marker in other sets or by themselves you can use pencil you could water down some ink or watercolor charcoal really anything if you want to get a nice gray scale and fill in a big area. I'm doing a bit of that technique that I showed last time that I like to use on these inkies. Creating some sort of finger bones or wing bones or whatever those are. It just, it, it's a cool design element that I came up with. And once you play around with this stuff enough, you, I imagine you'll come up with something too that looks cool. Once you draw enough, whether it's something like this, pencils, watercolor inks, digitally, you will come up with your own style and your own techniques and fun things that you can teach to others too. Okay, now it's time for that Jelly Roll pen. Great pen, I love this thing. It's nice and opaque. Great for teeth. And as you'll see in a little bit, great for bones as well. Okay, so now I'm going to go in and I'm going to give this guy some bones, like we can see through him, or maybe his bones are on the surface or something. But the white against the black is a great contrast. And it just brings a lot more interest to the piece. It is, of course, not anatomically correct if he were human, but he is not, so we can play around with that. It doesn't have to be perfect. Plus, uh, this is for us. This is for you. This is for... I'm doing it for myself. So I don't have a skeleton anatomy book or model next to me. I'm not worried about that. I'm just putting in 
What looks interesting? What fits this guy? I mean, the hip bone, the, the pelvis is... <laughs> yeah, that's, that's rough. It looks like a owl mask. <laughs> but it doesn't matter. It's for fun. Okay, so we're adding in collarbones, sternum, some ribs. And really, we're just looking for what looks interesting. Sometimes, especially if it's a stylized drawing like this, you gotta fudge things a little bit. It doesn't have to be technically perfect. It doesn't have to be spot on anatomy. You know? It just needs to look cool. It needs to look fun. It needs to look visually interesting. At least that's how I feel. And also with that sort of attitude, it tends to take off some of the pressure of, of creating art. If you're having art block, and if you change your attitude to it doesn't have to be perfect, sometimes that can help, then it just becomes play. It's just fun. For the most part, we're pretty much done with this guy. We're just kind of adding in little bits and pieces here. I know that the other character there, the fish, I wanted to add some scales and texture to him. And the gel pen works great for that too, as you'll see in a second here. There we go. Beep, bop, boop. And there you go, his little floating fr fish friend. Fresh, 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 fresh. And there he is, all done. Just something fun, something cool. Yeah, if you get a chance, I recommend trying out this sort of project. Yeah. And that's about it. See you next time.